You remember Peter Johnson? I've called him a number of times the same day. Well, this call starts out with him, and I get passed on to another. It was an 18 minute long call, but I'm editing out all the boring parts, which is a lot. The only reason I'm keeping it is this one guy left me totally speechless. I didn't know what to make of it. And even today, it kind of has me thinking and scratching my head. Why do scammers behave the way they do? I'm not on their side, but everybody's got a story. If you have young children, you probably shouldn't let them listen to this one. Administration, this is Officer Peter Johnson, a male care. Peter, it's me again, Diana Prince. Oh, uh, yes, Miss Diana. Yes. Can you tell me? Did yes. you get the, uh... My Can you tell me the approximate amount of your credit card? My dad said that there was there's a two thousand dollar limit that I can pull out at a time. He didn't give me an exact amount, and I don't have it yet. But he bought me a cell phone, but he didn't give it to me yet. Okay, right now, Miss Diana, I just need to know that in your credit card, can you tell me the approximate amount balance did did you have in your credit card? I just need to know the approximate balance of your credit card. He said there was something like fifteen or seventeen hundred dollars left after the phone. So that's an approximate amount, fifteen to seventeen hundred. A thousand five hundred to a thousand seven hundred. He said it's somewhere around there because he he bought me a phone, I guess, and he said that it was a little more than three hundred dollars, but there was tax. Okay, so Ms. Diana, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to connect your call to one of my senior officers with the DEA, Drug Enforcement Officer, who is going to take care of your case and who is going to cancel your arrest warrant from the sensitive issue. And he is going to find the person who has used your, uh, your personal information towards the criminal activities in the state of Texas. So Ms. Diana, just hold the line for a while. Let me connect you with the DEA. Speak with the DEA and try to resolve the situation as well, okay? Okay. Just hold the line. Thanks for your patience. Your call has been connected to Officer Michael McGill from the DEA investigation. May I know that to I'm speaking with? This is Diana Prince. Your voice is very different, you know? I guess. I don't know. We all sound different. You no, sound sometimes quite different it used to come like, a, yeah. Sometimes it used to come like a guy, like a guy is speaking. Like you're a girl, I believe, correct? Yes. I sound like a guy. Mm -hmm. That's pretty insulting. No, no. Sometimes it used to come like I it seems that someone else is speaking, and sometimes it seems that you are the person who is speaking to me. I don't know. No, is anybody in the line with us in the conference call? No, it's just you and me. I don't know what you mean by conference call. I thought that you kept so any of your brother or anyone in the line, I thought, in the call with us. I don't know anything of what you're talking about. I don't have any brothers. Mm -hmm. I only have sisters. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. And uh, what do you say about this case, as there is a drug trafficking and money laundering case against you? So what do you say about this case? Well, apparently somebody uh, got a hold of my uh, social security number and misused it, is what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last the guy said you're going to help, help catch them, to stop them from doing that. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll do that for sure. Well, that's uh, good. What's the date of birth? My date of birth is 10 25 mm -hmm. 
Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Just hold on. Alright. You don't have any car under your name, correct? No. Mm -hmm. I can use my dad's. And how Mm-hmm. And you're 14 years old guy, a girl, correct? Well, of course I'm a girl. Are you? No, I'm saying about this that... Are you 14 years old girl, correct? Yes. Okay. And you know how to drive? I know how. I'm not supposed to, but... My dad left his car. I'll just take it. I see the keys right on the table. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have so many ideas about the drugs and all, correct? I don't do drugs. Because drugs are bad. Mm -hmm. Okay? Drugs are bad, okay? Don't do drugs. If you do drugs, you're bad, okay? Don't do drugs, okay? How many banks you're banking with? I don't bank with anybody. I have a credit card. My dad's credit card. Oh, it's not your credit card. It's your dad's credit card. Yeah, but I can use it. He lets me use it. All right. Okay, and uh, you're studying now? What? You are studying? I'm in school, is that what you mean? I'm in 10th grade. Yep. Okay, alright. Don't worry, everything will be fine under your name, don't worry about that. Everything is clear. Oh, really? Good. Mm -hmm. So I can just disregard? I'm sorry? I can just disregard this whole thing? No, everything is uh, clear now. Oh. We just wanted uh, some information from you. And we got the information. So now you don't need to worry about anything, okay? Well, bless you. Is it because of my age? Maybe. Is it because of my age you don't want to scare me? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry? Okay, I've shut off my voice-changing software. Is it because of my age <laughs> that you don't want to scare me? I'm the same person. <laughs> it's the same person. Here's with it off. I know that. Here's with it off. I, I don't know. You did kind of lead into it where you thought maybe it was. <laughs> Is that what it was? Was it because of my age and you're honest, or is it just that you're on to it, but you would have scammed me if you thought you no. could? No. I don't want to do that because I knew it from before. That's the reason I said that. It's okay. I know that. When I was saying about this, that everything is clear under your name, then you will change your voice. I knew about that. So you change it. Okay, we cannot determine people's mind, you know. We cannot judge anyone. Well, well, and people can change their mind in a second. To say we can't judge them, well, if they're scamming, we can judge the scammers. You're scamming, so I judge you as yeah. being a scammer. <laughs> I judge you as a person that will steal, because that yeah. is what you're doing. And I'm proud to be a scammer. I'm not sure I... No. I d I'm not sure I'm I believe you. I'm proud to be a scammer. I don't think I believe you. I'm proud. Do, does your parents know that you're a scammer? My parents, they know about this, what I'm doing. Are they proud of that? I'm not joking. Seriously, I'm saying about this. They're not proud of that, but yeah. They say to me that, you know. Okay. Do whatever, do whatever. Yeah, I, I don't care about that. I don't think you're proud. It's because, you know, when I tried my best, when I tried to work hard. No, listen, when I tried to work hard, when I tried to get a hard money. Do you know, people just put... Like, you know, their hand in my ass, inside my ass. They used to finger me in, inside my ass. You know, these days I went through these days. I came through these days. But now I don't care about this. I just care about money and now money and money and money. Okay, now have a great day. Bye-bye. Now take care.